Hey guys, I'm Tristan. Welcome to Rod On Precision Hunting and Reviews. For the purpose of review today, funnily enough, um, I've got an item which I'm super, super excited about. It's something that I have been watching uh, for quite some time and haven't been able to get my hands on because of some of the United States export laws. They're really strict over there. Um, but I have now been able to do so. Um, so I'm super excited to bring it to you. What it is, is a rifle mounted or spotting scope mounted laser rangefinder. What's the importance of a laser rangefinder? The majority of the people watching this video, you're going to know this, so you'll have to excuse me for two seconds because not everyone does and the videos are for everyone. When your rifle is on a zero, that means the point that your crosshairs are exactly on an item is where your projectile is going to land. Your rifle is zeroed at that uh, distance. Let's say 100 meters where the majority of people uh, keep that or yards, whatever you prefer. At that end point, your uh, projectiles are gonna be right on the bullseye, right on your crosshairs. Every meter below that, and every meter after that, more importantly, your projectile is not going to land on target. It's not going to land on your crosshairs. Um, so therefore, we need to know, uh, in order to get the projectile to land there precisely, we need to know those distances uh, to, the, to the item. Through mill dots in your scope, there is um, methods of working out of ranging known sized items, which can take a little bit of time. It's a bit of a mathematical calculation. So most people lean towards uh, a laser rangefinder. With that, some laser rangefinders, like I've got a fantastic pair of laser rangefinding binoculars, but for extended distances, you are sort of, it's like shooting freehand. You're sort of wobbling around a little bit. You can get um, the smaller ones that you can lay on your pack and that sort of thing. But again, they're a little bit, you're sort of wobbling around. Wouldn't it just be fantastic to be able to be on your rifle, look at an item and instantly know how far away it is, no matter what you're looking at? Well, introducing the Silencer Co radius rangefinder and that's it here I've just got it mounted on top of my optics there what it is is a like I say rifle or spotting scope mounted uh, laser rangefinder the way it works is it's con sending out a continuous beam so if I'm looking at something at say 100 meters and I look up this will count with it it's fantastic as you come up 100 200 300 400 500 as you go up the uh, up the, up the side of a hill. It's a very, very easy unit to, uh, to comprehend and to work. It's almost foolproof. The box that it comes in is this one here. And I'll get to uh, all the little bits and pieces that you get, but just going through some of the other things briefly. Oh, in there. No, it's not here in a minute. So we've got the uh, little um, reflective tapes which are very good to put onto the target that the Silencer Co comes with. Basically the idea in having a target is that when you set it up, if your crosshairs are here, you need to know exactly how far above the center line of your scope is it mounted. Like right now, we have it mounted directly above the scope. If it was mounted on the side of my rifle, it would be to the left and down uh, if it was over here, obviously right and down. Uh, if it was under under the rifle by some means, um, it would just be directly below the scope. That way, it's, and like I say, it's imperative to have that very, very correct. That way, when you range, you're not actually, your laser isn't coming in and hitting here because as you go up, they would, uh, they would go out of correlation. Um, so it's keeping it, uh, both items very parallel. Um, very you know in line the reflective tapes um, are just uh, the bits that go onto the targets to help that bounce back very very well detailed um, owner's manual that tells you all about it and so forth um, there is also a slight little uh, cap that screws into the end here uh, which is to block out the visible uh, laser that ca can come out the front as an option because some states in the United States do not actually allow hunting with lasers, uh, laser pointers. You also get this one here, which is a little pressure pad, which can be used to turn the unit on and off and to start your laser ranging and all that sort of thing. So let's bring the camera in. I'm gonna run through some of the features with you. 
first thing I'd like to point out, if we just get the camera to go back, because I quite obviously have a rifle in my hand, there is no bolt in this rifle, so it's totally safe for us to uh, handle at this point. I can see there's no ammunition in it as well. <clears throat> so this is the display on the back of the unit. Uh, you've got a power button here, You've got um, which I'll turn on. Now sometimes if the camera's uh, straight on, uh, it won't actually pick it up, but uh, if we, on this angle it will. So hit this one here, top left, will dim the display, which is fantastic. If you're at night, you can take that almost down to, as you can barely even see it there, you can take it down to, uh, all the way down to really visible. Uh, this one, this button here, if I press that, you can see the Y, that's in yards. Oops, press it twice, uh, back to meters. And then this one here, if I press that one, it turns on the visible laser. And that one is going to, uh, you could use it in a hunting sense if you wanted to, but it also is going to aid you in getting uh, this one here onto your, uh, onto, your tar onto your target when you're sighting it in. Um, one of the fantastic fe features about the back of this one here, as you can see, I've got it in the orientation directly above my scope. If I did have it to the left or the right, uh, this here, as you could appreciate, would become wonky, right? So similar to like the plug on the back of your computer that plugs your monitor in, this feature here I think is really good. These guys thought of everything. Comes off, you can see that there's all these different prongs. It can actually be mounted in any orientation that you like, which is really, really cool. You know, you've got this mounted on the uh, side of your rifle. You can have it so the display is still very, very visible and you don't have to go all goofy like and hit your, ne your, uh, your neck off to the side. And you just screw those in. There's no need to uh, talk those down huge amounts, guys. It's very, very easy. The battery compartment is this one here on top. It's a rubberized uh, battery compartment. It just takes two CR123 batteries and it's actually attached there with a the lanyard, which if you pull that hard enough, it'll pull the batteries out. This is, this is really good stuff. Being rubberized, the uh, battery lid uh, is totally waterproof. It sinks, as you can see, I'm just having a bit of trouble with it. It sinks well into the, uh, into the grooves on top of the, the unit and I'll get to that in two seconds. Now, I'll just take this off. That's how easy it comes off, and that's how big the unit is. It is not very heavy at all. It's made completely of uh, aluminium, or uh, uh, aluminium, and if you're in America, we call it, uh, <laughs> you have a different name for it. Uh, it's alloy, but they call it um, aluminium. They call it uh, al aluminum. <laughs> so it's all made of aluminum. There might be more Americans watching. Uh, quick release uh, base, which I mentioned, goes onto the Pic Picatinny rail. This one here will adjust the laser when it's on for getting it left and right. This one here will take you up and down. It's that easy. The pressure pad, like I mentioned, just goes in the side. It's currently off. If I hold down the pressure pad, it will turn it on. And maybe if we uh, just uh, get the camera to come over my right shoulder here, as we put this over to the backyard, we might actually be able to get some distances there you go, so that's at 10 meters, and as I come up, 10 meters, and as I come up, 16, 18, it's just gonna go into infinity and over the uh, back of the, uh, over the back fence there. Now, I didn't want this video to be all about the, um, the distances and that sort of thing that the laser rangefinder is capable of, of getting. I've been using it quite a lot on this, um, on this rifle here. And I can tell you because it's pointless in looking at those videos. All you see is some distances way off and look well on. There, there we go. I just wanted it to be a brief video on the unit itself. And that's how quickly it has now mounted on top of our um, Bushnell um, spotting scope. So in that instance, you might be able to have a spotter who can now give you all your distances and it keeps your... Uh, rifle light if that's what you wanted to do the um, warranty on this guys is lifetime which is very very good um, 
like I mentioned with the distances, the distances that the Silencer Co radius rangefinder is going to work at is in average to good lighting conditions. Um, we've been using it successfully and very easily at 1700 meters um, in fantastic lighting conditions. I'm talking uh, slightly overcast in the afternoon towards almost dark time where the laser has beautiful free reign of light and does not get interfered by light itself. Um, we've been getting very strong signals at 2000 plus meters. Um, so it's very, very good, very, very accurate. And we have um, been um, sort of testing it and bouncing it off quite a few other laser rangefinders that we have. And with, it's accurate within, I think, one to two meters of the other ones if they're within one or two meters of each other. So it's a very, very good thing. <clears throat> like I say, the biggest thing with it guys, if you are going to get this unit and you want it to work well, because I'd love it to work well for you because it works fantastically for me, is that you do need to make sure that when you're setting it up, you just know that distance above the centre line of your scope um, and you make sure you uh, set it up correctly. Because if you're um, a little bit out at 100 metres, you might be quite a way out, say out at 800 metres, and if you're pointing it at a, uh, at a deer at 800 metres, you might get a reading of over, its, over the deer's back at the shrub line in the far distance of 950 metres, and you're gonna miss that trophy by metres. <laughs> that is the Radius Laser Rangefinder, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a fantastic product. Um, you can get it online. There are a few people now bringing it into Australia. Um, otherwise, you can um, get them on eBay and Amazon and all those sorts of places. Um, Brownells out of uh, the United States as well. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you like it, please give it a like. If uh, you like what we do, you can subscribe to us. We don't send you anything out. All it means is that as I make more videos, you will get them um, sent to you a little bit earlier. See you on the next one.